Hibiscus Haven in Richmond. The first views show how little landscaping had been done. The gardens are virtually non-existent, with no privacy from the neighbours. It took a little time, but progress was apparent within a matter of weeks. There was only about three to four months before the first flowers appeared and within six months the entire fence line had been transformed into a thing of beauty. The beauty about all this is that it was relatively easy and it all started from just one plant. This one. Hi, I'm going to talk about the impressive growth rate of these flowers. In July 2015, I started with 60 plant cuttings and amazingly, after only a few months, they were already actually growing. This is a shot from October 2015, three months after planting. And in November, the fence line is looking very good. Uh, naturally, I was very happy when I got my first flower and now, in March 2016, the fence line, 50 metres of it is fine, and they are all taller than I am. Awesome, don't you agree? Nature at its best. Besides being a fence line of pure beauty, this project serves three purposes. One, creates a fence line that's very nice. Two, prevents kangaroos from jumping over. They won't jump over if they can't see what lies beyond. And three, it creates privacy. Flowers are abundant, and as far as I have noticed, they bloom all year round. What can match the untouched beauty of a compact bunch of native hibiscus flowers, as shown here in this beautiful bunch? Absolutely beautiful, in my opinion. In this section, I want to show you how easy it is to propagate these plants. The mature plant shows lots of seeds ready for picking. Once you have picked these, soak these seeds in water for 24 hours before planting directly into seed trays. Propagating a branch, select a branch that looks nice and sturdy, cut it and trim all the surplus leaves, leaving only the tips visible, the plant can't support all the leaves as it is trying to strike. Cut these into small trims so that you may make lots of plants out of just this one. Cut the corner of one edge so that you can coat it with honey, just the normal honey, doesn't matter what sort. After putting in honey, coat in the plant cutting powder and plant directly into the ground. An alternative way is to simply soak these cuttings in water. Change this water every two days so that it's nice and fresh. After about two weeks you will note lots and lots of root growth. Here you will see just how massive that root structure is and it is ready. Again, you will notice that wherever the plant was in water, there are roots and also that the plant has taken up with new tips on the top. Easy. I was so delighted with the hiding of the fence line, I decided to apply this to the container. Here the container arrives and it gets put exactly where it's landed. I've planted trees all the way up beside the container to help hide it. That certainly looks a lot better than the big eyesore visible from the front of the road. Another area I wanted to cover was the fence line and the shed. The neighbour's shed is now almost hidden and as you can see it's so much nicer than having that tin shed that was there before. Besides the shed and the container, it produces a windbreak and it will help keep the kangaroos out because they can't jump over if they can't see what lies beyond. This final section highlights neighbourhood cooperation. 
with staggered plants each side of the fence and one soaker hose doing a double job. When first planted, water twice daily, but this can be reduced as they mature. The plant itself is a medium shrub, one and a half to two metres tall, but I haven't pruned mine and they are over three metres wide. A single plant can be one and a half metres wide, but I use mine as a hedge, only a half a metre apart for a better effect. They are quite hard to find, but this website has various colours available when in season. Purple, lemon, white, pink and apricot. They only have seeds and I personally have only had luck with the cuttings. My project was very economical. My original plant came from a cutting given to me by a friend and every one of these plants has been propagated from that. If you could buy them, it would be a different story. In July 2015, there were no native hibiscus and now, nine months later, they are everywhere and I love them.